to you and then you can see it. So we're, we're in your account, Matthew, and this is when every agent logs in, up on the top right is a little button that they can click and, and go to their profile. That there is your office profile and I'll send you the login codes for your office account. But each agent will have a profile up here and then it'll bring them to this page here. <clears throat> and there's a couple things that I want kind of everybody to, to know about. One, um, the, the preferences. So the preferences tab, um, there are a couple of things here. One, Matthew, do you have reviews of yourself on Zillow? Yes, there are reviews out there. Yeah. Okay. So if you check this box, this will tell us to go look in Zillow for this email address. And if there's yeah. if that is in your Zillow account, then we'll go over there and start sweeping your Zillow reviews into a few tools of ours, um, which is helpful because you that that's going to help you get sort of uh, you know people see it more on our tools probably than they see your reviews on Zillow. Um, and so here, the next section is the listing lead capture form. And this is hard to explain, um, especially since I don't have a tool in front of you, but maybe I can do it over here on this section. So this is what we call, um, let's see here, this says a Facebook ad. Yeah, this is a, this is what we call a listing landing page. We automatically generate a listing landing page for you, right? And, um, the, the nice thing about it is it's gonna it's gonna have one big picture of the home and it's gonna say hey this is just listed or this is open house or this is sold and if you want more information you can either click this button continue with Facebook or you can put the settings to leave a form where they have to type in their name and their email and you can then show the phone number and you can require a phone number if you want and if you do that if you require a phone number you're gonna you're gonna shoot your lead gen right in the foot I mean, you'll, you'll knock it out by 95 to 99%. Um, so showing a phone number is smart. Requiring it is, is not. Um, but the standard way that we, we present our tools is with this, this blue button that says continue with Facebook. And the reason why I'm pointing that out to you is that that is right here. And what this means is if you enable Facebook, in, enable Facebook registration, that shows all of your tools with, uh, sorry, wrong page, uh, with that continuous Facebook. If you turn mm -hmm. it off like this, then it, then it defaults to this kind of look here. Mm -hmm. Now, I can tell you, if you default to this look, people click that blue Facebook button like it's absolutely nothing. Uh, they just are very comfortable doing that. So a lot of agents love to use that. And, and let me watch the screen so you can see what happens. I'm gonna click that button right now and there's gonna be a flash in the screen. That is us listings to leads getting, in this case, my name and email address from, uh, from Facebook and delivering it to the agent. So mm -hmm. anybody that clicks that button is basically giving you their name and email. They don't know that that's what they've done though, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and in this case, it's asking for my phone number, so I'm gonna just give the phone number and then I click get the information. And then it should say thank you from the agent. And then it should drop me, the consumer, on the single property website. Uh, I guess in this case, it's a full screen uh, single property website. So, or, or virtual tour. So it's, about, it's all about lead capture and how you want to capture your leads is right here, right? Mm -hmm. So one thing that I also don't recommend is forced registration. So it's not a good example here, but I can find another tool to show you what forced registration looks like. It's on our single property website. So when we have a single property website and it's true for our virtual tour, um, there's always a, did you have a question there, Matthew? No, sir. Oh, okay. Um, there's always a call to action. So this is just sold and that's going to be different from an open house. It's going to be a different call to action from a just listed when it's just sold or it's pending. It's basically saying that that transaction is going to affect your home value, get your free home value here. And so mm -hmm. this is the lead capture form that pops up and you'll notice that, uh, there's no way to close this page. 
you either have to fill it out or go away. And that's what we call forced registration. And if you turned off forced registration, there'd be a little circle up here with an X in it, meaning you can close that. And you can close that and then go back and look at the, this information. But because Scott has his settings uh, as forced, you can't do it. So I'm going to turn that off because I actually think that's not the wisest way to do it. Although a lot of our agents do like to use forced registration. Um, because at this point, I have no option other than filling that out or closing this page, or because I'm a little bit smarter than maybe a few people, I know I can refresh it and look at this again uh, for just a couple more minutes, right? And, and this mm -hmm. will have all the photos and things like that. So that's just something to know about, how, you know, the lead capture. Uh, you've got your phone field required. I don't recommend that, so I'm gonna turn that off. And then down here also is a section that says property valuation source, onboard infometrics or Zillow. And so I'm gonna show you in a few minutes, a property valuation landing page that comes with your with each account, and every agent can create multiple ones of those. So your each of your agents are probably building their business in like I don't know three or four or five different towns, maybe even ten, and they need a home value landing page for every one of those towns. They have unlimited landing pages with this account, so they can do that. But here's where they decide where they want to get that valuation from. And I recommend that you test out which one is more accurate in your area. And it's easy because you just create a landing page and then you type in some addresses and you see what the results are. And then you come over here and you change the, the valuation source to the other option. And then you type in the same addresses and see what the valuations are and you get a sense of what's more accurate. So um, that's what's on the preference page on automation all of these things should be turned on and i'm going to make sure they are turned on just make, make sure that all of our automated tools happen um there's also something called the lead gen signature and let me look over here because gosh darn it there's something i forgot to do um and this is what we need to do in the setup um this is something that an agent wouldn't do this is something that you or do or you would do or I would do. Um, I'm going to save the links that we created for the office uh, and I'm going to push it to the agents. When an agent logs in, they can control their own links. And um, when we first set up your account, I asked you for a few kind of major cities and you gave them to me. And so we created links with those on it. And what those are, what I'm talking about there is, I, I hope maybe we can set them up yet. Let me go look. Oh yeah, they are there. Uh, so these links are kind of your default links that are gonna go on the sides of your tools. And you can always add more and you can make more detail in these links. But these links are in your office account and they're also now going to be, because I checked that box over there, they're also gonna be in your agent accounts. So if I go over here to your lead gen signature, I can see all these links here. And this signature is something that you have that each of your agents have. And I don't know what you guys use as a signature now. Sometimes they're really fancy things. I know I've seen yours. Um, but this one has hyperlinks that are built in. So you could copy this for your email up here and embed it in your settings in your email so that every time you send an email out, it has these core links. And you'll notice if I click on Gastonia Homes for Sale, I am driven right to your office website looking at the homes for sale in Gastonia. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what a lead gen link is all about. There's also mm -hmm. a link here that says free home values. And this drives to your office home value page. You can customize that page. Each agent can create this own page and decide that they want their links to go to their own home value page. Since you did mention that you have reviews, I'm gonna click on the reviews tab and let's see if it's, if it's matching. So while you do have reviews on Zillow, your email address in Zillow does not match uh, the email address inside listings to leads. So there, there's... Yeah, we're, we're not doing much there. Yeah. Really at all. Okay. So there's, if, if, if they don't match, if you don't want people to click this at this reviews page and go nowhere, do you have reviews on Zillow? They are out there somewhere. Yeah, we just, we have not... Yeah. 
So he really was, pursued the idea of any lead gen from Jillo. Got Jillo. It, got it. And and I don't either. I think it, it frankly it's a ripoff. However, um, a lot of people will find your reviews on Zillow, and if they want to do a transaction with you, they might go research you. Um, in this way, if there are reviews on Zillow, we would sweep them into this page automatically. So the thing that you would need to do is go to preferences and log into your Zillow account. And I would suggest you just update the email address that's there. It's probably a really old address that you were using long ago. Uh, or you can copy the email address in Zillow and drop it in this box, and then we'll match it and start sweeping it in. For now, okay. I'll, I'll just leave it alone, and you can go decide later what you want to do. But these are the things that you control in your profile. And there's another important thing, um, and you had mentioned to me about your CRM. You, you actually sent something mm -hmm. to me. It was an email or, or a link or something. I don't know quite what that was, so you and I should talk about that so that we can put put it together so that the leads that your agents capture go directly into their uh, their page there. Um, okay. And, or into their CRM. Uh, but we can talk about that. It's probably going to be really quick. I just don't want to do it on, on this call right here. Auto posting is super, super important and valuable. This is where we can auto post to your social media. And I would definitely recommend every agent in your office uses this. And here's how you set it up. You click these four boxes and you click save and continue. And something went wrong. Well, let's just click save. I don't know, I got some sort of error there, but I think it's working. Um, on Facebook, you go to Facebook next. There are, there are three steps, one, two, and three. One says connect to Facebook. Two says choose the pages you wanna to go to. And three is copy this information and put it in this box. So let's do it. Now, I'm gonna do this right now so that you can see what the process is. I'm gonna disconnect it as soon as we're done because anything that we do is going to, it will become live, right? So I'm gonna continue as me. I'm gonna choose the pages that I want to go to. In this case, I'm gonna say listings to lead. You might have multiple pages. You might have some community pages and you might have multiple business pages. We can post to all of them. Just check those boxes, all right? Um, and then just say yes to all of this. It, it, it's, it, it looks like maybe that you're giving us too much control. We honestly will never touch anything. We don't know how to, all this does is tells our software to auto post your listings there. So at this point, it brings us back to the page. It says it's connected as me. I'm gonna disconnect it in a few minutes. But I also got to click into this box and choose the page that I want to post to. And that's step two. And step three is copy this page and put it here. And this is the information that gets pushed into the auto posting. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Um, I recommend if agents have any kind of brand they're trying to build that and, and, and a brand other than their name, that they want to create their own hashtag here, right? So in this case, if you, if you can't see it, it's going to put the city, the status of the home, and the agent's name. And then it's going to say realtor, real estate, new housing. You might want to say, I don't know, uh, Gastonia luxur Luxury Living, or maybe Hanks Realty or HRG, right? Whatever it is that, you, that is your brand that you want to create, you can just put a hashtag right here, right? and say, you know, you, if you want people to know HRG or, you know, if it's all about Gastonia or something, you just add them there. And then every time we post, we put it there, right? Uh, mm -hmm. and, then, and then you can save, and you should also do this on Twitter. And even if you don't have a Twitter account um, and you just want to start it, if you put these over here, these hashtags are really important on Twitter, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. if you don't have a following, but people are following real estate, they're going to see what you post. If you don't mm -hmm. have a following, but people are following Gastonia, they're going to see what you post. So you don't need a big network there. You do need hashtags there, and we put them automatically there. Um, so turning it on and connecting it is great. A lot of realtors do have LinkedIn. You can click here to connect to LinkedIn, and you can copy this and put that. And LinkedIn indexes those hashtags as well. So it gets you some audience. 
And I'll show you in a minute what those auto postings look like. I'll show you in my account. But before we get out of here, I want to disconnect me so that you can do this yourself. Um, and that would get your listings. Now you can sort of start over when you get to this page, right? Um, okay. And so that's kind of what you set up on the profile. Uh, let's go now and let's talk about how you get listings into your account. And, and we know, Matthew, that we're talking about List Hub. That might take us a couple days, right? So for, okay. for uh, but for the agents, let's say they've got listings right now and they want to get tools out there. This is how they do it. Now I'm going to click, when you go to the listings page, there's one button, only one green button. Click that okay. and say grab active listing. And at this point, because we're in the office account, it's going to say, well, who do we want this associated to? And I'm going to say we want it associated to your agent account. For an agent, they won't have that option. They'll just click grab active listing and it's going to drop it right into their account. And okay. so I'm brought here and it says grab active listing again. So it's a little bit of an extra step, but this page right here is what every agent will see. So do you have an, an, an a listing that is active right now? Uh, man, the only one I have is a lot. <laughs> let's, let's do that. Let's just do it. And we'll, a lot. What, what's, whoa, well, that might be hard to find, but what is the address, you know? And um, it's going to be, let me pull that. It's going to be. Uh, and if uh, Travis is on the line, if he wants to put his address, if he's got an active listing. Um, yeah, sure. Hey, Travis, uh, give me what, what is the address of the listing you've got? Try 159 Quail Hollow Drive in Kings Mountain. Okay. Give me one second. So if we go to. Well, let's see. Okay, so it's MLS number. Um, let's see if I can see that MLS number here. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're going to make it really difficult for me to find the MLS number, but I'll find it. Um, you don't know the MLS number, do you, Travis? You give me a second. I'm actually in the car, so. Oh, well, don't, don't worry. I'm I'm on I'm on Zillow. I, I'll find it. I don't want you to be dangerous there. Okay. Don't worry. I got the number. It's three four zero. Okay. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Uh, okay. So I gotta I kind of back up because I want to not be pulling this into your account. I'm gonna go into Travis's. Uh, give me a second. A good a good agent would have this memorized, wouldn't you say, Vincent? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we don't really have one active listing, Matthew. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Oh, okay. man. Oh, just brutal. Uh, okay. It's early. All right. Uh, all right. So, uh, um, Matthew, what is that MLS ID? <laughs> Let's try 340-0283. Okie dokie. Do you know the zip code? Yes, I do. 286. Repeat that. 28086. Awesome. Okay. So right here, now you can't see this, Travis. It's not important for you. There's a box that says, this is my listing. And because this is Travis's listing, he's going to leave that alone. But if you were an agent, let's say Travis is really busy, but he wants to have an open house this week, and another agent is going to host the open house, the that agent could pull this listing into their account and deselect that, we would create a bunch of tools that are going to generate leads. Um, and then that agent could use those as they're preparing for that open house. Um, and those tools that we're talking about, you're going to see in just a minute. You can see here, Matthew, we're importing the listing from Trulia. We're importing everything, including the photographs. So it does take about a minute, sometimes two, depending on the size of the photographs, things like that. Um, but at that point, we're going to look at what these tools are. So, uh, Travis, I noticed that has been on the market for a little while. Um, you're not having any open houses coming up anytime soon, are you? Uh, yeah, on a different listing. Okay, well, we can we can talk about that, and I'll we'll set that one up too. Um, but this one right now is pulling in, so we'll give it a second to do its thing. 
let's see here. Let's look at this. Okay. And we'll leave that alone. Uh, so we have to kind of wait a little bit while that's happening. Um, what this does, Travis, is it's going to create a bunch of tools, almost like 10 or 12 different tools. And we're going to email you a couple of emails saying, here are the tools to market. You should get one email that's designed for your client. It ha And it says, we're marketing this home. And you can forward it to the client. It's got the hyperlinks to the virtual tours, the single property website, the, uh, the listing landing page. Um, and it basically is telling your client all the tools that you've created to help them to help market their home. Um, we also are going to send you kind of a separate email that says, here are all the tools for you to take advantage of, right? And those are the kind of the same ones. They're just sort of put together slightly different way. We also send you a tool for, uh, to share with your clients. We share, sh excuse me, we send you two tools. One is um, for social media, usually for their Facebook. Um, and the other is for email. And I'll show you what those look like now. And I know, Travis, you're not going to see it, but we'll kind of go look at it anyway. And Matthew can see it. The first thing it drops us on when you click edit is where do you want, what links do you want on here? So we've actually got a Kings Mountain. And I notice up here that this address, this property is in Kings Mountain. So I'm going to drag and drop and put the Kings Mountain link right at the top. Um, are Gastonia and Belmont relevant to Kings Mountain or are they so far away they're not relevant? Belmont probably not as relevant. Okay. Gastonia maybe. Okay, so I'll, I'll turn off Belmont and I'll save that. And these are the links that show up on the sides of the tool. So if I go here to the tasks, and actually, I won't, I won't go to the task. I'll go to the listings first because the listing will be in the task. So if I go to listings, it's sitting right here. And for you, um, Matthew, you're going to, when you log in to go to your listings page, you're going to see every listing with the agent's name. When Travis logs in, he, when he goes to the listings page, he's only going to see his listings. He's not going to see other people's listings like you. All right. And Travis, this listing has been active for a while, so it's not just listed right now, correct? That's correct. Okay. So inside, you should make a change. I'm going to make that change for you and change it to active. That means you're going to get another stack of tools because we actually recommend, and I hope that each of you market your listings at every stage. That means just, to, just listed, maybe when it's active again, Definitely when it's open house, uh, perhaps when it's pending, but definitely when it's just sold. And you can change, take advantage of those by just hitting the status button in the middle of your listings page. The thing about pending and just sold advertising in our system, the call to actions are designed to get you more listings. Obviously, coming soon, active and, and open house are designed to get more buyers. So at this point, we've changed it to active. Now you can work in the task list, which is over here by clicking this button, or you can go uh, and, and, and open your email. But for here, Travis, you can't see this, but Matthew, you can, and the agents that watch this can. The four top tools that you should be using, there's actually five here. I'm going to check. I'm going to check the box here, and I want to point out that when I check the box, it puts a little calendar event. It does nothing else than just show you that that's the date. And we put that there to allow people uh, to, let me, let me explain this, sorry, to just remind you that you actually did it. You know how you've got a million things going on, but you want to go through this chat, this task list and you just, you, you do one or two things and the phone rings and then you forget what you've done. This is meant to just help you remind you. What I'm doing now though, is I'm going to check these now. And Travis, when you log in, I want you to look at what has been checked and, and go through those functions and actually take these steps. You're ideally going to be looking at this uh, video and you'll know what to do because I'm going to do them 
as if this were my listing, okay? So it's social media for your client, or social media for you, social media for the seller, the virtual tour, the e-flyer for your database, and the print flyer for nearby homeowners, okay? So Matthew, these are the top tools that I want every agent to use. You may not use them all at every status, but you definitely gotta, you gotta use most of these at, at every status. So the first one is your social media right? The tool for your social media. So now this is the listing landing page. And as I showed you earlier, this is designed to capture leads uh, for, for Travis. And if anybody clicks that button, continue with Facebook, he's going to get their name. So Travis, hold on to your phone because I'm going to click that button and you should be getting a lead with my name, Vincent Meza, and uh, my email address and my phone number. Just so you know, I'm in California and I'm not going to be buying anything <laughs> where you are. But it did say thank you. I got your big picture saying thank you. And then I got dropped on the single property website, right? Um, Matthew, for you, since we're looking at this right now, you can, remember those, those lead gen links I sorted and I asked you if, if uh, what is relevant and clearly Kings Mountain is. If anybody looks at this home, they might say, this is awesome right? But for all people that see your homes online, many of them, it may not be the perfect home. Maybe this is in a faraway place and I, I need to have be close to the uh, kids and, you know, in school stuff. It's a beautiful home, I'll tell you that. But if they're, if they're interested in looking at other homes, instead of going back to wherever they saw this, they could click a link on the left-hand side, like Kings Mountains for sale. Uh, homes for sale, and it would drive them to all the properties for sale that are showing on your website. Okay, so the default lead gen links for every agent are built pointing to the office website. If you have agents that have their own website and they want to reconfigure that, they can take care of that on their lead links page by just going to lead links up here on the top navigation bar and editing these links, right? And saying, oh, I, I don't want to point it to Hanks Realty Group. I want it to my special website. So the point of all me yammering around here is we want to get that tool that's capturing leads for Travis out on his social media. Now, I'm not going to put it on his social media because I'm not, uh, I, I don't know Travis's page, right? But he can do that. But, the, but an easy way to do it from here is to click share, the share button's right here. And you can click the Facebook, share on Facebook, and it opens up uh, this thing here. And I'm gonna say, now I'm gonna put it on my new seat just so that we can look at it together. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna write something smart about it, right? Great home, uh, uh, Lakeview, um, and you know, gorgeous, whatever. You, you got to write what you got to write. But you should be adding emojis, right? If you know anything about emojis, and I, and I hate to sound like a like an idiot, but I'm not. <laughs> and uh, the thing about emojis is people like, they, they click on more homes when you have emojis in here. So a good way to write your message is to put a couple of emojis in, right? And um, I'm going to put here an emoji for, since it's a lake view, uh, I'm going to type in, uh, come on, sorry, my computer's acting kind of slow. Um, since I said great water, I'm just going to search, I'm going to uh, say search and I'm going to click this one and I'm going to say lake view and I'm going to put an emoji here. And as silly as this sounds, Matthew, this, this, <laughs> It is true, and we know it, um, that people click on these ads more when you do this. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm going to put one more thing here. I'm going to say great price. And you should, you might want to be a little more robust in this. I'm just doing this quickly because we're chatting here together. Um, and I also want to tell you a great price and then put some dollar signs there. Um, and, and then you can share it. Right now, here what you should know it's saying share to your news feed, and that means that all my friends or mo most of my friends will see that. You might want to do that, but you might also want to share it to a page you manage like your business page. 
Now, if you remember, Matthew, like 10 minutes ago, I showed you how to auto post, how to set up auto posting. And if you did that, you're, you're, you as an agent would not need to go through all of this that I'm showing you to do right here. This is the old fashioned way and this is the manual way of doing it. If you allowed it, if you turned on auto posting, we would put it together, it would look awesome, it would have emojis, it would have hashtags, just like I was showing you. But this is how you can do it prior to that. So at this point, I'm gonna click post to Facebook and this is gonna show up on Facebook, on my feed. Um, so let's, uh, let me go over to Facebook real quickly and show you what that looks like. Um, and again, it's the manual way, but this is how a lot of agents do it and there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. So <clears throat> right now, uh, Travis, you can't see this, but this is on my, on my page, right? On my personal page. And, Math and Matthew, you can see it. It says great home, how and there's house, and there's Lakeview with Wade's and all that. And then there's a really nice purple banner that matches your, the branding for your office. And there's a picture of the home. And if people are interested in this, they click on that photograph and this pulls up the listing landing page, which I've now shown you a couple times. So you know that this is gonna capture leads and send them to Travis, right? Um, so that's tool number one. Back on the listings page, that's tool number one, all right? Tool number two is we email this to Travis. And it's a really, you know, this is a complicated tool. It's only complicated because Scott and I have not cleaned this up. And we're asking your agents to read something. And I know that agents do not like to read just about anything. <laughs> sorry, Matt. Oh, I'm man. I'm sorry. Let me tell you. I'm sorry. I just know this. It's like this constant friction between Scott and I. He just thinks everybody loves to read all the stuff he writes. And I know they don't. Yeah, you've nailed it. And, and so I want you to know what to do with this. You can either do it right here or you can open up the email and forward the email and take away everything between that's above the red lines. And what you want to do is send this to your client, all right? And you want to email it to your client and copy your, and, and call your client, right? And say, um, hey, you know, whoever it is, I just sent you something. Would you take that and put that on your wall, right? So let's say Travis called me and said, hey, I just sent you something. And we, you know, would you, you know, I'm doing all these things to, to get it marketed and, and, and get a bunch of people there. Um, but would you put this on your wall, right? So just in case somebody wanted, some of your friends or family know somebody that wants it. And, and this is what it looks like. It says, our home is for sale. Travis Rettman at Hanks Realty Group created this and many other tools uh, to, be, to market this home, right? And the thing about this tool is, yeah, if I click on that picture, the listing landing page is gonna pop up and that's gonna capture leads for, for, for Travis, right? But more importantly for Travis is that this tool is, it, it was posted on his client's webpage, on his client's Facebook thing right? And his client is telling all of his friends and family that Travis is his realtor, Travis from Hanks Realty Group, right? That is the point is as much as our clients love online leads, they really love referrals. And so in our world, your clients, the homeowners can be telling their friends and family and colleagues on Facebook that Travis is their realtor when it's just listed, when it's open house, when it's pending and definitely when it's sold. And I, and I definitely want you guys to be using this when, when it's sold because it's gonna say our home just sold and we wanna recommend Travis for doing an excellent job. Here is his email address and phone number. Right there where you're reading right now, it's a pre-written testimonial. And when people click on this when it's sold, it opens up the single property website, it shows the home and the call to action is saying, when that is uh, that that sold property is going to affect your home value, get your free home value. So this one tool that Travis can take advantage of or ignore is going to help him get referrals and get listings. So that is number two. And then if we close that over here, 
Um, number three is the virtual tour. So we create a branded virtual tour, right? We, we auto generate this. We auto post it, the virtual tour to our YouTube channel called search all properties. Tra uh, uh, Matthew, you might have your own YouTube channel. You could configure on your, when you log into the office, you could also connect your YouTube channel so that all virtual tours for all of your agents go to your channel. And also Travis might have his own YouTube channel. If Travis uses Gmail, he has a YouTube channel. He could go brand it, he could go put his logo, his picture up there, some picture of, of your area. And then all of his own listings, virtual tours would go there. We add music to it and, it and it's good. But as you can see, the virtual tour captures leads. So the thing that I would recommend that you do is you could certainly look at it. You could share it if you want. It's it's a really pretty tool. But you can click this button right here that says copy. It's kind of the two pages. And what every agent should do is take their listing, this virtual tour, go find their listings that are showing up on Zillow and on Trulia and paste this in as the virtual tour. Because as you've seen, it is only designed to capture leads for Travis, okay? If, if, if a lead gets captured on Zillow for Travis's property, he might be getting that lead, but I guarantee you three other agents are getting that lead at the very same time. In this case, mm -hmm. if Travis took a moment to copy the link to our virtual tour and put it on his listings on Zillow and Trulia, if anybody had an interest in that property, they'd click the virtual tour before they ask an agent anything. And as you can see, this virtual tour is, is only designed to capture leads for Travis. So that's what I recommend doing with a virtual tour. Now, there's an e-flyer for your database. Travis, do you have a CRM? Yeah, I have CRM just like Matthew. Okay. So, Matthew, can you put, can you blast things to that CRM? I, I'm assuming you've got a drip campaign, but can you say, hey, I want to just, I've got some news I want to put out to the people that are in my, in my sphere, my database. Can you do that in your system? Sure, sure absolutely. absolutely. Okay. That's part of the reason we went with that system. Awesome. Awesome. So we have an e-flyer for the database and it's, and you might want to say, Hey, we've got a home for sale, right? Uh, you can also use this when it's open house and it'll have the date and time. You can also, we, we create this for you when it's sold. And in that email, there's a picture of the home. There's a link right here. So they can click that link and they can be driven to the single property website, which is gonna capture leads and, and convey information on the home. More importantly about this flyer is underneath it, it says when this home is sold, it will affect your home's value. So if you start using this, that notice that link says Travis R at freehomevalues.net. That's a property valuation landing page designed for Travis. And if people are using that, or they click on that, they're gonna get their instant home value and Travis is getting a listing lead, okay? Mm -hmm. This is a really good quality listing lead. Um, let me let me see if I can open this page up for you. Uh, copy. And let me go over here and paste it and go. This is uh, a home value page, right? And a lot of agents, almost five to 10 agents every day of the week sign up on our website to get this one tool only. They forget, they, they don't even know all the other tools I'm showing you, but they've heard about this and they know that this is pretty good at getting leads. And the number one thing they do with this, you know, first they put a picture of uh, Gastonia in the background um, and then they copy this link and they go over to Facebook and they run an ad on Facebook and say, I want everybody in Gastonia to see this page. And that's a really good thing to do. There are other companies that have those kinds of tools and you do get leads that way. But what I want you to understand is that if you're using this flyer, talking about this home to your database, you're going to convert these leads faster than the random ones you pick up on Facebook with the same exact tool. Okay. Um, yep. And, and so there's a flyer. You don't have to use it at every status for every listing, but you should try to get a flyer like that in your database once a week for any of your listings, okay? 
Okay. Right. Now the last tool on this page that I, I definitely recommend that you gotta use is the print flyer for nearby homeowners. It's a print flyer that looks almost identical to the e-flyer. All right. It's got the same thing. It's it's our home is for sale or it's open house or it's sold. And then there's a little handwritten thing here. Um, and then it tells you go to this web page if you want your home value, because that's gonna affect your home value. So yeah, yeah. this is actually the best tool for listing leads. The best tool that we have. It's the same tool. It's going to push them right here. But the people that convert on this are really high because you're door knocking or you're mailing to a neighborhood. And you're saying, mm -hmm. I'm selling something in your neighborhood. And if you want your home value, go here. And yeah. to kind of belabor that point, it's time I transition to our mastermind group. Matthew, you and I are not friends on Facebook, or maybe we are, but we should become friends and all of your agents should become friends with me because that's the fastest way for me to get you into this group. It's a secret group in Facebook and our clients go here and they share what's working. They share their questions and Scott and I share what's new and what's coming down the pipe and what tools are happening. Uh, and also we actually, you know, what, what one thing that Scott does is we see all leads coming in on our platform by all agents across the country. So every week mm -hmm. we know the agents that are killing it, right? We know the agents that used a tool, like maybe the one I just showed you, and they come up with like a hundred leads that week. We can see it. And so Scott interviews those people and says, what did you do, right? What did you do to make that happen? And then he'll maybe record that and he'll put it in here so that other agents like your agents can learn what we have available and what they can, how they can use mm -hmm. your system. But then there are agents like Dustin Fox over in Maryland who just comes in last summer and says, the highest ROI for our recent business has been the neighborhood flyer. So he took this flyer and he printed it just like I showed you where to print it. And he put it in a black envelope that's like high quality. He put in a one page calendar thing for himself for the year and he put in a little one pager of Zillow reviews, right? And if you got reviews from anything, just put it in there. What he's trying to do is make it bulky and make it custom looking so that it doesn't look like junk mail to be thrown away. And what he found is that he mailed that to 250 homes around the home that he had sold and picked up 10 listings with an average commission what? of $17,000. Come, Come on. on. This is what he wrote right here. So you can ask Travis. You can also get in this group and look at the other 189 comments from other agents around the country saying, yeah, this is what we're doing. This is how we're using it. And to give you yeah. an example of how other agents use it, some of them don't have maybe that budget, right? Cheyenne here is a new client to us. This is in the mastermind group. And I can tell she's new because her questions about Facebook advertising were clear that she didn't understand it. So she ended up taking the same tool and door knocking for seven hours and got four listings out of it. Okay. So you can go old school and door knock it. You can get a little more expensive and mail it. Whatever you want to do, get to your task list and use the print flyer for nearby homeowners. And if you go look at the other things that other agents are saying, the bare minimum is they're printing this, they're downloading it and they're printing it. And if they're holding an open house, they're door knocking to like, you know, 50, 20, 100 homes. That's just their normal practice. And I hope your agents can apply that kind of strategy to their practice because this tool gets listings. All right. Okay. okay. These are the top tools. There are other tools in here, but this is usually enough to have your agents head spinning. If you're a blogger, there are blog tools. If you like Craigslist, and I recommend Craigslist, there's a tool to, to get to Craigslist. Like I said, we already auto post to YouTube for you, so that's good for you. Um, so that's like the listing marketing side. The only difference is uh, you want to take advantage of every status, right? You wanna do it when it's active, you wanna do it when it's open house. Travis, if you're still on the call, do you want to pull in that listing for your open house? Maybe he's gone. Um, so 
that's that side of it. The other side of this is the landing page section, right? And Matthew, all agents, I mentioned this earlier, they should have a home value landing page. And okay. you should, and the number one page to use is property valuation plus. That's the best home value page we've got. You might want to create custom buyer landing pages or custom seller landing pages. You might have a report that you bought somewhere that you would love to give to people. Would you like that contact information to give it away? There's a free custom free report for buyers, for sellers, right? And you also have an empty nester landing page and a growing family landing page and all kinds of you know free uh, foreclosure stuff like that. But let's just create property valuation plus and let's call it Gastonia, right? That's all you got to do is type in the name of the town or the name of the neighborhood. And when I click the green add landing page, it drops me on the editor page of this, of this, right? So this is going to be in your office account right, right now, Matthew. Okay. So you may not want to use this. You may want to log in as yourself and create this landing page, but it creates this generic page. And the number one thing we do is we drop you on an area to upload the background picture and you must update the background picture. Matthew, to make this easier for your agents, you might want to get a, a couple of background pictures for Gastonia and the other towns that you want. And, and as, a, as to let you know what kind of works, I got to give you this story that I give everybody. I, so I do this call for every office that we set up. And, and, and Summit, New Jersey, Coldwell Banker calls me. And this is a small town. This is like 25,000 people. And they said, hey, you know what? We're getting all kinds of leads. We're running ads. And, but our number one home value landing page has a picture of our local diner that's been in town for 70 years that's on Main Street. This is kind of counter, counterintuitive to what a lot of agents think. A lot of agents think a million dollar home should be on the back page of that home value landing page, right? But if you do that, you kind of exclude everybody else that has like a normal home, right? So what you're trying to do is get somebody's address and their contact information off the internet. You have to establish trust. And one way to do that is say, I actually know your neighborhood. And in Summit, New Jersey, people understand that Summit Diner means you know their area. I hope that's kind of clear what I'm trying to say there. Me, I have a picture right here of Gastonia uh, right here on my computer. So I'm just going to snap it in and I'm going to click save, right? And when I do that, it's going to push that Gastonia picture right in the back of what is your Gastonia home worth. And we've got to give it a second because it's kind of a big image. You do need an image that's kind of 2,000 pixels wide, all right? And most smartphones, if you got one of these new smartphones, if you hold it horizontally and take a photo, uh, that's, it, that's going to be plenty big enough. Um, and then you can email it to yourself and download it and, and upload it and stuff like that. So here, it's now got the photograph of... Uh, a beautiful Gastonia in the background. So this is almost ready to use, right, on, on the internet. There's one thing that I absolutely want you to do every time you create this page, and that is click Advanced Options and click Follow Up and check this box and click Save All Changes. What this does is every time you get a lead with an email address, it's going to send them every month an updated value. It's coming from your agent's email address. And it's got your agent's contact information down at the bottom and their logo and all that, right? But in the middle of it, it says, hey, would you like to get a real on-site valuation? It's a calendar to set up listing appointments for your agents. And if you know anything about capturing leads, you might know a little bit about actually converting leads. And one of the things that people say is if you get a lead on a property, you got to call that lead in five minutes or five seconds or something, right? The speed of sound. But if you try that, then the common response is, I don't know what you're talking about, right? Uh, because people wanted information. They might've filled something out. They might've clicked a button and not known they gave you their name and email. But what they were not expecting is to be talking to an agent in five minutes. 
And so that's just the downside and reality of capturing online leads. But if every month you send them an updated value and they actually filled that out the first time, they actually were interested in the value of their home. And what you're doing is every month saying, your value changed, would you like to schedule a consultation? And people are just getting listing appointments off of this ridiculously simple letter that's going out every month. So I hope this is clear for you that if you create a property valuation page and every one of your agents should have at least three or four of these for their all their farm areas, they put a picture of the background and they click advanced options and they make sure that the monthly follow-up goes out. That's kind of it, okay? So on the landing page section, there are other landing pages, right? There are landing pages, like I said, for empty nesters and, and you can do custom and stuff like that. Um, Matthew, do you know about Facebook advertising? Do your agents understand Facebook advertising? I know about it. I would say the thing that keeps them from knowing about it is the idea of having to have a business page to advertise. You know, you can't advertise from a personal page. And so, you know, I am I'm hearing from multiple places right now that having a business Facebook page is, I mean, you're just dead in the water. There's, no, there's It's not going to go anywhere. So the idea of me telling everybody, go, yeah. I'm hearing that over and over. So, see, the position that I'm in as the head of the firm, I have to be super careful. I've only got you, – you mentioned agents won't read. Yeah. Okay. So if they won't read, imagine you know, what I feel like I'm able to get out of them. So if I know that I only get a small, small amount from my agents, I have to be super careful. Right. And everything that I ask them to do that I – you know, expect them to do that. I try to train them to do, and that's why, you know, early on when we were talking about this. I'm like, if I need it to be so that it is a set it and forget it, so that, yeah, or I'm able to do it on their behalf. And so the approach that I've taken after, you know, hitting my head against the wall for years is, I've got an inside salesperson. I've got a Facebook page that has tons of followers. What I am trying to do is just do things at, at the company level and then as they're able to benefit from it then great. Well let, let, let me that's a great that's a great way to look at it Matt because that's the reality of realtors in the, in the country. You know, if you got 10 three of them will take this thing and tear it up. They will use all of the tools and their business will will grow from that. Five will not know how to log into their account and will never know, right? And some will sort of figure it out, right? And so, but there is something here. I showed you auto posting. We can turn on auto posting. You can turn on auto posting in your account and I'll help you do it. Um, where all of your agents listings will go to your business page. And then you could log in here and say, you know what? Uh, Travis's uh, property is sold now. I'm just going to change it to sold and bam, it's going to go to your business page with all the lead capture and everything you want. And then you, could go to your Facebook business page and boost it. And you may not want to boost that for everybody, right? You might want to boost it for some agents who are really diligent, right? Maybe Travis, right? And you could boost it for 20 bucks and say, I want everybody within 25 miles of this home to see this. What that means is your business page is going to be looked at by Hello. probably 10,000 people. Right, I'm listening. Um, it is... I have paid for Painter. What? I'm sorry. Travis, are you talking to me? No, no I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Maybe you need to mute, Travis. Um, the, uh, let, let, me, let me mute Travis real quick. So, Matthew, what I was saying is we can set up auto posting for you. So all your listings go there and you can choose to boost the ones that you want to boost. Does that make sense? But I, but I, okay. I, I will tell you this for anybody that hears this call uh, and also for your own knowledge. Um, what you are saying about your business page, this is, uh, le let me show you our Facebook business page. We have the mastermind group, which I want all of you to join. But we also have our business page. <laughs> That's a funny picture. Sorry. This is our business page. 
and we've got a few thousand people following us. What, what you don't know, what mo- not a lot of people know is only 6% of the people who follow your page will actually see what you post. Because Facebook, it's not in their interest to show everything that you share there. So if we're auto posting all of your listings, they will not all be seen by everybody who follows your page. That's why you then have to go, oh, you know what? I'm going to boost some of these. We've got a really special home or maybe uh, Travis really wants to boost this open house. This, this what you're looking at right here, Matthew, is an automated post. I did not have to touch this. You didn't have to touch this. You just had to set up your profile and this shows up there. And then you can say, you know what? I want to boost this post. And you click that button and you say, I want everybody within 25 miles of, of, of your town to see this. And you put 20 bucks on it. Probably, you know, a couple hundred, a couple thousand people. This one has 321 people reached, but I didn't boost it, right? If I boosted it, thousands of people would have seen it. For you, that's good because it would be boosted. For me, it's showing listings to leads. For you, it'd be Hank, you know, Hank's Real Estate Group or HRG. So there is a value for you there. There's also a value for every one of your agents to do it, but the reality is they won't. Um, I recommend, just so you understand, and we recommend for every agent, they should be boosting or running an ad for one property every week for $20 for four days. So $20, because in your world, 5,000 people are going to see that you are the realtor, realtor that sponsored this, even if you borrowed the listing. If they click on this post, you guessed it, the open house landing page is gonna pop up and you know it, it's designed to capture leads in this in this case for me, right? So okay. we recommend that for agents that are trying to grow their business, they definitely do this because here's the thing that a lot of agents don't know, 71% of adults spend 40 minutes a day on this website. So if you're putting things out there, they're going to see it. Then we would tell you, and Travis, I would tell him, get a page like this and run it once every weekend for 30 days for 30 bucks and say, I want everybody in Gastonia who lives in Gastonia to see this. So Matthew, I'm not going to go through Facebook advertising today. We can have another call and I will step-by-step show you how to run those ads. What I would like to, to see happen is that you get your agents in here that we start using the five tools that I talked about. And then maybe in a couple of weeks, I, it, it, summer's coming, so I know everybody sort of vanishes at that time too. Uh, maybe in the middle of summer, we do a Facebook advertising call because when the fall hits, business usually picks up. And if you want to take advantage of that, that is definitely the time. For you, Matthew, you should actually have a Facebook strategy running year round. And for anybody that wants your business to grow, they should. And I'd be happy to have that call whenever you want to have it. Okay. okay. All right. The, the one thing is, I, I'm going to put this recording up today. Um, I want everybody to know that when I turn this on, they're going to get an email. And that email is going to have a couple points saying that this is a free account for you and that you should uh, log in and then here's how you log in. And they're going to have a link to this page. It's the getting started page. And like all good realtors, they're going to just ignore that email and they're not going to open this page. But... I want you to know what's here. The top five tools that I just talked about are on this page and how to use them are on these hyperlinks. So, and then down here, how to set up your CRM, which, uh, you know, Matthew, we're going to talk about, uh, how to use that lead gen signature, which I talked about, how to get your Zillow reviews out there. And then there's more information. If you want to learn how to do Facebook ads now, it's right there. Um, but this page is on the homepage right when you log in. It's very useful. Um, we have a support team here. If you have any questions, the fastest way to get an answer is to put it in this box and then click send because we have, we have a support team. They're all watching this, mail, this mailbox. And so they answer the questions very quickly. Um, but also you should all be in our mastermind group. And the fastest way to get into that mastermind group is to find me, Vincent Meza. I am in Lafayette, California, and I'm the VP of sales for listings to leads. 
So if you friend me, tell me, hey, I work for Frank's Realty Group. I will connect you. I will pull you in that group. You can't find that group on Facebook because it's a secret group. It's only for our clients. Okay. Okay. Is Click, click on the um, that, that friend, friend request, request yeah. thing there. It should, it should be, be should, should be me. Oh, okay. Let's see. So let me let me just see here. So there we go. So confirm. Uh, so let me just do this, and 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 I'll show you something. If you can go check your email in a second, Matthew. Um, on on Facebook rather, and give me a second. I'm gonna actually go here and type in Matthew. Hanks. Oh, you're already a member. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I don't know how. <laughs> okay. So maybe we were talking, who knows, but if you go in to the account in the, in the mastermind group and you, t and you, there's a place for you to invite members, invite your agents and then I'll see it and I'll accept them into the group. Otherwise they can okay. friend me or they can friend you and that's how we pull them in. Okay. 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 Uh, that's kind of all I got right now, unless you have questions and we can stop this recording and you and I can carry on about CRM integration, or we can talk about CRM integration since all agents got to do it anyway. What do you want to do? Let's do, Let's the, do CRM the CRM real, 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 real quick. I don't want to take a ton of your time, but yes. it's, I really want all of this to, to funnel right back into the CRM. Right. So Matthew, I'm going to, uh, CRMs are usually connected at the agent level. So I'm clicking on your profile as an agent and every agent would have this same profile in their account. And let me open my email because you sent me something. Maybe I can find it real quick. Yeah. You said I list up Sierra leads and then you gave me this thing, agent office email. And is that for you in particular, that link? My, my understanding is it's for the entire account. account. And is the it's for everybody. It's for everybody. So how do your how do how do uh, Travis's listings how do his leads get into his account? He must have a don't, unique. Don't know. Yeah. So I think every agent has a unique email address like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Yeah, but I. I let me let me log and see. Just yeah. You might want to ask them, but. But usually every agent has a unique email address from their CRM. And you can put that email address right here under CRM integration, under email forwarding, and just save it. And any lead that gets captured by that agent will go into their CRM. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really don't know because... because the area, the area of, of the site, site that I went to to get that email address, address the, the at the, at the agent, agent level, they don't even have that area of the site at all. At all. So I really don't know. Yeah, maybe have an agent. I was, I was thinking likely that because um, what will happen is, you know, because it, it it specifically says listing to leads on the Sierra integration site. So I specifically clicked on listing to leads. So my assumption is like when we had. Uh, Zillow, Zillow integration with our previous CRM, Zillow would always send their leads and it would always be in the same format. You could just, you knew what those emails would look like. And then a CRM knew how to look at that email and parse out the information out of that email and put it where it needed to go in the CRM, like the first name, last name, you know, what house they clicked on, stuff like that. So I guess my assumption was that everything from our listing leads account went to that email address and then they all looked a certain way and probably somewhere in there it said this lead is for you know this person this person because the the other question I have is well what if we're doing it at the company level and there's not an agent yet and those an agent needs to be assigned but it needs to be done at the CRM level yeah you know through the rules that we have set up so right yeah I'm I, I'm looking for leads to come in and they don't have it doesn't have an agent yet I got so, it. so therefore we are, you, you know, we're, we're, using, we're using this. Yeah. So that's a different thing. You set that up on your office profile and then the tools that okay. you're using, those leads would go to your CRM, right? But agent leads tend to go to the agent's CRM. And so maybe a, a thing to do is have Travis log into his and see what his unique email address is. That way his leads would go to him. 
And you could also say, hey, I want his leads to go to, to me as well. And you would put yours right next to it. Excuse me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I do think typically they go straight into an agent. But just like you explained on Zillow, um, it's kind of different from Zillow because Zillow is, is, is a different company. But um, ours are all formatted. They do parse with your CRM. That's a, it, it works the exact same way. They, they see the data on our lead form. We put it in, in the format that is uh, the, the national standard. And they know how to scrape it and drop it into your CRM. But that usually happens at the agent level. Each agent has their mm-hmm. own lead forwarding email in their in their own account. When they put that on their profile in our account, that's it, it will start knocking it in automatically. Mm-hmm. So you, you might be a little bit it might be a little bit curious for you because you've got you're logging in perhaps as the office on your CRM uh, instead of logging you as the agent on your CRM. And, but when Travis okay. logs into a CRM, he'll probably see exactly what we're looking for. He'd put it there and there you go. You at the office level could go set up your office CRM and then say, hey, I'm gonna start getting home value landing pages and running ads on Facebook and getting listing leads and then I'll just give them to the, to the agents I wanna give them to. Okay. okay. Right, you could do that sort of thing. And then also one more thing, it's hard to describe here because we don't have listings in here, Uh, but I'm on your listings page. And you could say, um, these five agents here are going to really use this. And these 10 agents down here will not, They, they just are not into doing anything like this. So once you get the listings in, you can say, well, you know what, Christina here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take her profile and I'm gonna send all leads there to my company, not to her CRM. And then I'm gonna make sure all these tools get out. So I'm gonna manage her tools myself. And since she's not interested in capturing any leads or growing her business, I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna give them maybe to Travis, give those leads to him and, and help him you grow his business. You know, you can sort of configure it that way too. Mm-hmm. Right. Because there are a lot of agents that they're going to get one or two listings a year and they're happy with that. And there are a lot of, and you still want to capitalize from that. You still want to get that out and capture some kind of buyers because buy, buyers may buy something else. Right. Or maybe you get yeah. Yeah. more listings. So you can use the system that way. So you, because when you log in, when all listings are here, you can then sort sort of help manage it as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, we're looking at it from the listing space, so there's only one listing. But in the future, when we start when you start getting all your listings in, they're all right here, and you can manage it just from this place. Any questions? Okay. Okay. Matthew? Uh, uh, will this, will this recording be available, be available to, to view? Yeah, I'm going to send it to you today. Okay. Okay. Awesome. awesome. All right. So I will get this uh, recording up online. I'll send it to you. If you have any questions, reach out to me and you know how to get a hold of me. Okay. Okay. Okay, Matthew. Um, sounds good, sounds good to me. Really, really appreciate your time today. Okay. I will uh, talk to you soon. Okay.